what are the proteins proteins are the most abundant organic compounds found in the cells proteins are the polymer of amino acid and the number of amino acid varies from a few to several thousand in different types of proteins they are present in all types of the cell and in all parts of the cell proteins perform many functions all the enzymes are proteins and in this way they control the whole metabolism of the cell as hormone protein regulate metabolic processes before discussing more about proteins don't forget to subscribe our channel for more new videos some proteins like hemoglobin work as carrier and transport specific substances such as oxygen lipid metal ions etc some proteins are called antibodies they defend the body against the pathogens blood clotting proteins prevent the loss of blood from the body after an injury movement of organs and organism and the movement of chromosomes during the ana phase of cell division are caused by the protein amino acids about 170 types of amino acids have been found to occur in the cells and tissues of these about 25 are constituents of proteins and most of the proteins are however made up of 20 types of amino acids all the amino acids have an amino group and a carboxyl group attached to the same carbon also known as alpha carbon they have the general formula as given where r may be a hydrogen atom is as in glycine or ch3 as in alanine or any other group so amino acids mainly differ due to type of nature of r group amino acids are linked together to form polypeptide proteins the amino group of one amino acid may react with the carboxyl group of another releasing a water molecule the linkage between the hydroxyl of group of carboxyl group of one amino acid and the hydrogen of amino group of another amino acid release water molecule and carbon nitrogen link to form a bond called peptide bond structure of proteins there are four levels of protein structures primary structure secondary structure tertiary structure and last one is the quaternary structure first of all primary structure the primary structure comprises the number and sequence of amino acids in a protein molecule f sanger was the first scientist who determined the sequence of amino acids in a protein molecule after 10 years of his work he concluded that insulin is composed of 51 amino acid in two chains one of the chains had 21 amino acid and the other had 30 amino acids and they were held together by disulfide bridges hemoglobin is composed of four chains two alpha and two beta chains each alpha chain contain 141 amino acid while each beta chain contain 146 amino acids the size of a protein molecule is determined by the type of amino acids and the number of amino acids comprising that particular protein molecule there are over 10000 proteins in the human body which are composed of unique and specific arrangement of 20 types of amino acids the arrangement of amino acid in a protein molecule is highly specific for its proper functioning the best example is the sickle cell hemoglobin of human being in this case only one amino acid in each beta chain out of the 574 amino acid do not occupy the normal place in the proteins and the hemoglobin fail to carry any or sufficient oxygen hence leading to death of the patient next is the secondary structure a polypeptide chain in a protein molecule 
usually do not lie flat. They usually coil into a helix or into some other regular configuration. One of the common secondary structure is the alpha helix. It involves a spiral formation of the basic polypeptide chain. The alpha helix is a very uniform geometric structure with 3.6 amino acids in each turn of the helix. The helical structure is kept by the formation of hydrogen bonds among the amino acid molecules in the successive turns of the spiral. The beta pleated sheet is formed by the folding back of polypeptides. So the next is the tertiary structure. Usually a polypeptide chain bend and fold upon itself forming a globular shape. This is the protein tertiary conformation. It is maintained by three types of bonds namely ionic, hydrogen and disulfide. For example in the aqueous environment the most stable tertiary conformation is that in which hydrophobic amino acids are buried inside while the hydrophilic amino acids are on the surface of molecule. So the last one is the quaternary structure. In many highly complex protein, polypeptide tertiary chains are aggregated and held together by the hydrophobic interactions, hydrogen and ionic bonds. This specific arrangement is quaternary structure. Hemoglobin, the oxygen carrying protein of red blood cell, exhibits such a structure. Classification of proteins. Because of complexity of structure and diversity in their function, it's very difficult to classify proteins in a single well defined way. However, According to their structure, proteins are classified into fibrous protein and globular protein. So the first is the fibrous protein. They consist of molecules having one or more polypeptide chain in the form of fibrils. The secondary structure is most important in the fibrous protein. Fibrous protein are insoluble in aqueous media and they are non-crystalline and are elastic in nature. They perform structural roles in the cell and organisms and the examples of the fibrous protein include myosin, fibrin and keratin. So the next is the globular protein. These are the spherical or ellipsoidal due to the multiple folding of polypeptide chain. Tertiary structure is most important in the globular protein. They are soluble in aqueous media such as salt solution, solution of acid or bases or aqueous alcohol. They can be crystallized and they disorganize with the changes in the physical and physiological environment. The example of fibrous protein include the enzymes, antibodies, hormones and hemoglobin. So this is all about the proteins.